Hey everyone, today I've got a mind-blowing story about how a tiny detail on an animal bone changed everything we thought we knew about our ancient ancestors. Picture this, Sabrina Curran, an intrepid researcher, is peering through her magnifying lens at a fossil's surface. Under the strong light, she spots something incredible. V-shaped lines on the bone. These aren't just any lines. They're cut marks made by stone tools, similar to those found on bones in Dibenisi, Georgia, dating back about 1.8 million years. Sabrina turns to her colleagues and says, Hey, I think I found something. What she discovered in 2017 was groundbreaking. Our team found evidence that hominins butchered animals at the Gronchianu site in Romania at least 1.95 million years ago. Before this, the oldest well-dated evidence of hominins in Eurasia came from Dimanisi. Gronchianu is an open-air site first excavated in the 1960s. Researchers found thousands of fossil animal bones there, and it became one of the best-known early Pleistocene sites in east-central Europe. Imagine standing on that hillside almost 2 million years ago, a river channel with a nearby forest fading into open grasslands. The animals there would seem familiar yet exotic. Ostriches, pangolins, giraffes, saber-toothed cats, and hyenas, all in Europe. Most of the excavation records were lost, but the fossils remained remarkably preserved, offering a wealth of paleontological information. Our team, including biological anthropologist Claire Turhune, zooarchaeologist Samantha Gogol, and paleoanthropologist Chris Robinson, spent weeks studying all 4,524 Graunchianu fossils, looking for more marks. We used magnifying lenses and low-angled light to examine each fossil. Whenever we saw an interesting linear mark, we took an impression using dental molding material. But how could we be sure these were cut marks from stone tools? That's where our zoo archaeologist collaborators, Michael Pante and Trevor Keevil, came in. Pante developed a novel method for identifying marks on bones. Using a non-contact 3D optical profiler, he captured precise 3D measurements of the mark impressions. Then, he compared these ancient marks with a reference set of 898 modern marks, made by stone tools, carnivores, and sedimentary abrasion. Based on our analyses, we identified 20 ground chenu fossils with cut marks, eight of which had high confidence marks. Most marks were on hoofed animal bones, consistent with cutting meat off bones. To get a precise age for the site, we used uranium lead dating on tooth fragments. Surprisingly, the teeth worked well, and we determined the site is older than 1.95 million years. All this data provides reliable evidence that hominins were in Eurasia by at least 1.95 million years ago, even though we haven't found their fossils at Ground Sianu. It's like peering into the past and seeing a scene of deer drinking from the river, mammoths in the distance, a saber-toothed cat stalking prey, and a small group of of hominins butchering a deer. Isn't it amazing how a tiny bone can change our understanding of human history? Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating stories from our past.